Hi Commanders, Stan is here, and it's time for a War Robots science lesson. Some people suggest that repairing War Robots is outright healing, like magic of sorts. But we all know there is no magic in the future. Then how do Mander and Wayland repair other robots? Let's figure this out. These little creatures are army ants. What's amazing about them is how they form structures from their bodies. Here they bend together and form a strong bridge. It's not perfect, but it does the job. Now, how is this connected to fixing robots' meat fight? Once you activate the meat combat repair, thousands of tiny bots rapidly jump to the closest allies. The bots themselves, like army ants, act as a building material. They find damaged parts on a robot and use their bodies to complete what's missing. Of course, they cannot fix critical damage or replace a broken weapon, but they easily deal with cracks in the hull and recreate small movable joints. One bot is about 2 by 2 mm big, about the size of a ladybug. A regular person can distinguish one with a naked eye, but a pilot seeing everything from a huge walking robot cabin? Probably not. The green line you see here is projected not by microbots, but the robot's self-diagnostic system. Its primary role is to scan for damage and malfunctions to notify the pilot about them. And microbots use it too. Wayland is a walking microbot factory. It can keep producing these little guys for up to 20 minutes without stopping. However, Wayland repairs much slower than Mender. Its microbot output, while steady, is limited by resources it has on board. Mender, on another hand, is a quick fixer. Upon activation, it launches cartridges of microbots and they immediately get to work. Switching the cartridges requires time. Mender also has a limited amount of them on board. If matches in War Robots lasted longer than 10 minutes, you'd likely have to return to the base for more microbots. So, case is closed. But there are still so many mysteries to uncover. Like this video for more stories of War Robots world and let us know in the comments what you'd like to hear about next. See you on the battlefield!